just like my top 10 bronzers like my favorite bronzers easy go to pull out my drawer know that I'm not gonna have a problem I love the tone I love the shade it's perfect for my skin tone and you guys know if you're familiar with my channel or my makeup collection you know that I do you know buy more affordable products as well as higher end products I really don't discriminate because your girl just loves makeup, okay? So, since I just went through all of my highlighters and that was like kind of crazy, super long video, and highlighters are kind of fun, a little bit more exciting, a little something shiny to look at. With bronzers, they're not quite as exciting. It's just brown stuff, you know what I'm saying? But I know it can be kind of difficult to find your right shade, your right tone, a nice formula, something that's within your budget price range. So that's why I'm just going to share with you guys my top 10 instead of going through all my bronzers because honey, it's a lot, it's too many, and it's not that fun. So let me just show you my top 10 and let me know down in the comment section if any of these are your favorites or if maybe you found something that is in my collection that you would like to try. So I'm gonna jump right in. I just, like I said, pulled my top 10 and then I think I have an honorable mention. The one that I have on today, which is not in my top 10, I wanted to keep it like a nice even number. So <laughs> let's jump right in. Oh, and by the way, what I have on my eyes today is one of the palettes that I said I was gonna try not to buy. <laughs> Y'all know how I do. I went ahead and copped it and I love it. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's on my eyes today. If you can't figure it out, let me go ahead and help you, okay? Yeah, it's, it's this little baby right here. This new Juvia's Place coffee, the coffee shop eyeshadow palette, okay? I had a lot of fun with this. I didn't do a whole video. I feel like my you know like tutorials or i look videos they really don't get a lot of views y'all so i'm thinking about possibly not doing those anymore maybe like a, a rare chit chat getting ready with me you know every now and then but i kind of want to do other makeup content that i really enjoy that maybe hopefully you guys will enjoy as well but when I be doing my eye looks, honey, y'all be watching it, okay? So I'll probably end up putting those more on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram and you want to see like looks and little short tutorials, I'll probably do more of those over there. So anyway, yes, it's this palette. I love it. Ciao. Nice. Okay, so let me just run through these uh, bronzers. So let me start out. This first one here is actually not a bronzer, okay? It's actually, um, it says it's a soft focus hydrate and set powder. This is from Jouer. Jouer Cosmetics. Very, very nice. Pretty packaging here. I love it, but I saw this in Sephora one day and one of the deeper shades, I don't know if this is the deepest one. This one is called Deep. Um, I was like, ooh, that looks like it would be a nice bronzer. So I went ahead and picked this shade up to use for myself as a bronzer. Okay. Really, really pretty. You know, as you can see, it has that beautiful embossing in there. So let me do a quick little swatchy swatch of this so you can see what it looks like on me you know for a bronzer but that is the shade that this is and it is a beautiful bronzer on me very smooth very easy to blend easy to use maybe because it's a face powder but yes i love 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 this from jouet okay so that's one of my favorites easy to grab beautiful shade 
This next one here is from ABH, Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is their powder bronzer in the shade Mahogany. This has definitely been one of my favorites for a very long time. Beautiful formula, blends beautifully, goes amazing with my skin tone. And I just know whenever I use this, it, it's a no brainer. So let me show you this one as well. So as you can see, this one here, it's not as deep as that beautiful Jouer one. This is a more kind of mild, like everyday type bronzer shade. It can even like cross for some people as, you know, a possible contour shade. For me, it's a beautiful, nice everyday. It's something if I don't want to go too ham or too deep, it just adds that nice bit of dimension on my face with my makeup. Really, really like this one. And the ABH formula is great. You know, because sometimes you want that real deep. I just came from the beach bronze. And then other days, you just want something just to add a little bit of warmth to your skin. Now, this next one is a Sephora bronzer. This is their matte bronzer in the shade 06 Ibiza. So let me show you this. So this is what this one looks like from Sephora. Another beautiful, beautiful bronzer shade here. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love using this one as well. So let me show you what this one looks like. So that is Ibiza from Sephora. Very smooth, very beautiful. It adds that nice bit of warmth to your face, to your skin. Really, really love it for my skin tone. So yeah. This is one of my favorites. Now this one is a bit pricier, okay? Like I said, your girl don't discriminate. And I will try more expensive products, but sometimes I find, honey, that price tag, mm -mm, it don't mean nothing. Something is not really that great sometimes. But this one is the Gucci. Look at this packaging, gorgeous. Let me come a little closer for you. Has a beautiful Gucci color. And this one is Eclat Soleil. 05 from Gucci. Okay. And I must say, I really, really love this bronzer. It's one that I feel like it can be built up. You know, you don't, it doesn't have to be super, super warm and brown. It doesn't have to be super, super deep. You can go in lightly or you can go in a little bit ham, you know, but either way, it is a beautiful bronzer shade, as you can see there. Let me give you, give you a little bit more. Beautiful, beautiful. It has a little bit of that red pull to it. So if you like bronzers that are kind of like, you know, this shade, this might work for you. But like I said, it's a little bit on the pricey side, okay? So, you know, there's plenty of other bronzers that look just as nice that are not as expensive, but I did want to try it and I'm glad I did because it's a beautiful, amazing, very, very smooth bronzer for me. Okay, so let's move back to the affordable side. I do have this glow bronzer. It has this reflective packaging. <laughs> you can see my fan, everything, okay? But this is the glow bronzer from Revolution. This is the Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer in the shade Dark. So let me show you what this one looks like. I do have two different shades in this bronzer. One of them is even darker than this. I can't think of what the shade name is, but it's darker than this. So it does go deeper if you're curious, but this shade works perfect for me. Nice, smooth formula. And like I said, you know, Revolution is very affordable. And you see how big this pan is, okay? So this will last you a good while. But let me go ahead and show you what this bronzer looks like. Okay? So that's what that looks like. As you can see, they do lean a little bit, you know, to me on the cooler side. Not quite as red as the Gucci, but a beautiful, beautiful bronzer shade. As well, perfect for every day. You know, it can be built up. Doesn't have to be too, too dark. So, yeah, I really, really like this one from Revolution. I pull this one quite often. And like I said, it's very affordable. Next here, I have one that I guess I would say is like in the mid-price range. This one is from Huda Beauty. It is her Glowish. 
And this one is called 05 Rich Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. So this is what this packaging looks like from Huda Beauty. I really, really like how this one looks. It has the beautiful swirl pattern in there. And it does last, you know, as you use it, as you can see, I've used this quite a bit. It still has that swirl pattern in there. And I really, really like this one. It's fun to use. Um, this one, since it does have that darker swirl in there, you know, it can give you a more rich, deep looking bronzer, as you can see here. Really, really pretty. So this one I will use when I do want to go like a little bit deeper. If I do want like a slight contour feel to my bronzer, then I will use this one because it does have that deeper swirl right there, you know, mixed in with the bronzer. So this one is a little bit different, but I do love it. Nice and smooth, easy to apply and blend out. And like I said, it can take me a little bit deeper if I want to kind of cut them corners a little bit harder, okay? So yeah, I love that one. Next here, this one is on a little bit pricier side. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury. Look at this packaging. Okay, I have found that I've come to really, really love Charlotte Tilbury's products, like the powders, the setting spray. Funny enough, I have two of the palettes, I think the holiday releases, have not used them, y'all. I know I need to use them, but I find that I'm really, really enjoying my Charlotte Tilbury products, okay? So this is the bronzer. It's called Airbrush Bronzer. This one is in four deep, okay? Love this bronzer, okay? Love it. It's beautiful. This formula is very smooth easy to blend, easy to apply. Love this shade on my skin tone. Let me give you a little bit of a closer look to it. There you go, so absolutely beautiful. It just, it feels so nice. It's so smooth, okay? So let's go ahead and swatch this one for you guys so you can take a look. It just, listen, it just looks, even the swatch just looks nice and smooth, okay? beautiful so let me just give a little bit more but that is look at that it just yeah sometimes the price difference does make you know it makes a difference okay in the product it really really does in this one i will have to say i feel like the price of it does make a difference this bronzer is so smooth it's so beautiful it's so glorious and the color is just oh i love it so anyways Definitely one of my top three, okay? Definitely one of my top three. Love it. Next here, this is like one of my newer favorites. When Juvia's came out with her bronzers, like the bronzer duos, I was like, oh yes, gotta try it. So this is the Juvia's Place Bronzed Bronze in Dark. <laughs> I don't know if that's bronzed, bronze, but this one is the shade Dark. And this one is... A duo as you can see it gives you two different shades you can mix them together or whichever one works best for you maybe you want something a little lighter one day a little richer one day I love both of these shades quite honestly so let me go ahead and swatch this for you both shades and I feel like these definitely do pull a little bit more on the red side you know I know a lot of people don't like like the more red tone bronzers but i feel like these kind of do so that's what those look like really pretty i feel like um you know juvia's place is more affordable so it's not my top top formula for bronzers but honey it looks really nice on so if you don't mind you know the little bit more red tone bronzer really really pretty you can actually use these for blush also okay so yeah i really like these okay so the next two which are actually the last two are real ogs okay og og ogs okay this one i fell in love with this morphe what is it called glamour bronze fell in love with this as soon as it came out as soon as i tried it honey fell in love with it felt like this was my perfect bronzer shade and i didn't need to look any further of course, I've purchased the whole plethora of bronzers since this one. But yeah, when this came out, this one is in the shade Phenom, okay? 
But when this came out, oh, I fell in love with it. I would just bronze for days and days and days, you know. Very, very pigmented. It doesn't seem like it would do a whole lot, but it is super duper pigmented when you apply it on your face. So, yeah, it's like not super red, not super dark. It's not anything extreme. You definitely can build it up. And when you apply it, you see it. Like you might you might not feel like, oh, it'll do a whole lot just from this swatch. But when you apply this to your face on your makeup, it really, really gives you that warmth, that natural, just came out of the sun, sun-kissed look, but very, very natural. So it doesn't have the redness, the super... Like, okay, that looks like a super fake bronzer. It looks very natural to me. I love using this bronzer and it works perfectly for my skin tone. So perfect every day, beautiful shade, phenom. Now this last one here is even more of an OG than the Morphe one because I've been using this ever since I first started my channel. It was probably my first bronzer that I ever had and tried to use when I had no idea what I was doing with bronzer and contour, this is the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. And I know a lot of you guys might remember this or still have this in your collection or still use it to this day because it's really, really good and it's affordable. And it's not just a bronzer, it's an actual face palette. So you get your contour, your bronzer, your highlight, you know, it's a three in one thing. They have different variations and shades for you to choose from. And they also have a cream one as well. As a matter of fact, let me pull my cream one so I can show you that too. So the one that I'm showing you in the powder formula is dark to deep because I do have the dark to deep and I also have in the cream one, I have medium to dark because, you know, they can get a little deep, little dark or whatnot. But let me show you the powder first. So this is the powder with the contour bronzer and highlight. So let me go ahead and, ooh, child, this contour. Lord have mercy. <laughs> but it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a nice everyday formula, not, not, not anything too, too crazy. So that's the contour, that's the bronzer, and this is the powder highlight. So this is the powder trio here. So, so pretty. You see, it's just perfect for every day. Beautifully pigmented, beautiful face palette for women of color. It works amazing. I love it. So that is the powder one. Let me go ahead and swatch the cream one for you. So this is what the cream looks like. As you can see, it has the round pans instead of the square. And you do get your contour, your bronzer, and your highlight. Um, I don't really use cream bronzer um, or contour. I really would love to, but I find it's difficult for me to use creams because I really like to powder up and everything. So it's difficult for me to use the creams, but they're really good even underneath powders to give you that more emphasized contour and bronze. So let me swatch this one for you. And like I said, this one is the medium to dark because I typically use the contour for bronzer when I'm doing uh, the cream. So let me show you what this looks like. I've had mine for quite a while, so, you know, I got to warm it up a little bit with my fingertips. And I do love a cream highlight, okay? But, yeah, for those of you who prefer to work with creams more than powders, this might work better for you. So, as you can see, the cream bronzer is super duper light. It's not one that will work for me um, out of this medium palette, but the actual contour would work nicer for me as a cream bronzer. So that's why I have this medium palette in the cream. Um, and as you can see, the highlighter, <laughs> killer, killer, <laughs> killer. <laughs> so yeah, I love this cream palette from Black Radiance as well. You can choose, you know, the cream or the powder. You can choose if you want to go dark, deep, or medium. 
so they give you options girl and honey these are mad affordable okay so perfect three in one affordable grab you one okay okay you guys and lastly like i said i do have one honorable mention because it's the bronzer that i'm actually wearing today slight bronzer um so i didn't have it in my collection over here but i also love this bronzer this one is the benefit hula toasted okay love this bronzer it's nicely pigmented i could really see it heavy on my nose right now i did use it you know all over just slightly but you can see it the most on my nose right now but i love this hula toasted it's the only thing that i don't love about this bronzer is the fact that it comes in this tiny little square packaging so some kind sometimes if i want to go in with a larger brush or you know things like that it can be a little difficult to really get product all over the brush because it is in a smaller square pan but as you can see i use this quite a bit because it used to say benefit or hula or toasted or something in there <laughs> and as you can see it doesn't you can't read it anymore but this is another one of my favorites i do have this on today so yeah if you're my skin tone or close to it check this out the benefit hula toasted bronzer great formula blends out super easily and as you can see honey it make you look nice and toasted okay so yeah that's it you guys for all of my favorite bronzers top 10 and an honorable mention that i wanted to share with you guys hopefully you enjoyed let me know don't forget do you have any of these as your favorites or maybe let me know some that i should try out that i might love as well so that's it you guys thanks so much for hanging out with me today and i will see you on the next video Toodles. just text i know it's a toss oh, but i hate the fact that we lost so